Is the price of gold being manipulated? This has long been a subject of debate among economists and gold investors to better understand the benefits of gold and dispel the many myths surrounding this precious metal. We will hear from Jim Rickards, Ray Dalio, and geopolitical analyst Alistair McLeod. The uncertainty ahead of the event mm -hmm. is obviously suppressing the price of gold and silver. Well, the Fed has no alternative but to raise rates until the system breaks. As to um, the effect on gold and silver, the reason it has an effect is because the people who are driving the price are basically hedge funds. And what they're looking at is a trade which is very, very simple. You buy gold, sell dollar, or you sell dollar, buy gold. Never take delivery. Yep, that is what they do. So what they're looking at, if you like, is the relative return on the dollar versus gold. I mean, gold does pay an interest, but you know, you've got to actually have it in order to pay the interest. So. <laughs> The further that interest rates rise, the more disadvantage it, dis disadvantageous it is for a hedge fund to go long of gold mm. contracts. We are rapidly approaching a situation, as I said earlier, whereby the Fed will raise interest rates until the system breaks. The last time the system broke, it broke in a relatively minor way, and that was when Lehman failed. Now, I know you might think my use of the word minor is perhaps not justified, but compared with what I see coming, I think it is justified. What happened then was that the price of gold fell from just under the thousand dollars, I think, down to around about 680. Why? Because all the Keynesian boys were running out of what they perceived as risk into what they perceived as safety, which was the dollar. And it was only later that um, you had the sort of, the, if you like, the double think. And they thought, well, hold on a minute. Um, this is actually really very inflationary. And um, perhaps we ought to have gold and silver instead. So, you, got, you know, you had the sort of backwash, as it were. We anticipated it and profited by it. In 2006 and seven, we could see that it was coming because it's another one of those. And as it was happening, there was a lack of understanding of it. Is first of all, it was controversial, so it seemed improbable because it never happened before in their lifetimes. We knew, and we then were positioned so that our clients uh, did well in 2008, when most people uh, did terribly, and yet there was no excuses to do terribly, really, other than they didn't experience it before. And that you need to understand how the machine works and you need to look at those probabilities and that these things have happened for deficits, government debt, printing of money. Most of the people who have opinions about those subjects are not actually studying how the machine works, going back in history and saying, what are those cause effect relationships? But they have opinions. So many of the critics, they're, I mean, they're eggheads. They're, uh, you know, they got some academic training. They sit in front of their screens all day. Uh, they repeat the same, regurgitate the same canards and false statements about gold, and they think they know it all. You know, the, the PhDs and the central bankers, they would like uh, a fiat money standard because they control it. You can't control gold. I mean, you've got to go dig it up and mine it, and it's a costly process. And I don't think it's any secret that if you control money, you control behavior, you control politics, you control economics. So what I recommend to investors, you want about 10% gold. Yeah, maybe a little more if you want to lean into it, if you have a higher risk appetite, but not much less than that. Uh, but the thing is, if you have 10% in gold and it goes down 10%, you only lost 1% on your portfolio. You lost 10% of 10%, which is 1%. Chances are the other things you've got, maybe land or real estate or art, or maybe you're in stocks or bonds or traditional, maybe you're in alternatives, venture, whatever else you're in, probably doing fine and you're doing fine. But if this meltdown comes that I'm describing and all these other things start crashing 20, 30, 40% or more, Gold is likely to be the thing that's going up 200, 300, 400 percent. I would expect it to get to seven thousand dollars an ounce or more. I, again, some analysis ten thousand or higher. Some even higher than that. That's where I think gold is going to end up. Again, not all at once. Well, if that happens, you may be losing over here, but you're making a lot of money over here. So it's a little bit like fire insurance on your house. You don't want your house to burn down, but heaven forbid if it does, you're sure glad you had the insurance. And when you write that premium check to the insurance company every month, you don't think you're throwing your money away. You're Think you're doing a smart thing so get some gold it's volatile don't get too upset with the day-to-day -day price action but institutional allocations are about one and a half percent so i'm recommending 10 so there's a long way to go there people need to get a lot more gold it has gone up uh, about uh, 600 percent or more since 1998 but i would see it sort of chugging along with a lot of volatility and then i think we're getting close to the stage where it's just going to gap up meaning you know one day it'll go up hundred dollars an ounce and that'll make a lot of headlines and the next day it'll go up another hundred dollars an 
announced, and that'll make headlines, and all the talking heads on TV will go, oh, it's a bubble, don't be a fool, etc. But then, you know, the next day, boom, it keeps going. Then what happens is then people wake up and say, oh, gee, I better get some gold. What they'll find is they can't get it. You know, they'll call the dealer, sorry, sold out. They'll go to a coin shop, sorry, we're back ordered. They'll call the mint, uh, we're not taking new orders. The big guys will get it, you know, the sovereign wealth funds, the central banks, the hedge funds. But everyday investors, you'll, you'll actually find that you won't be able to get it at any price. So right, well, the first piece of advice I would give is position now. Don't wait till this happens because when it happens, it A, it could happen very quickly, and B, you may find that the things you want to go into are not available at any price. As the Federal Reserve props up the strength of the U.S. dollar with high interest rates, this lowers the price of gold. This is the opportunity. With the inevitable Fed pivot and more money printing, gold will rise. To paraphrase the famous hockey player Wayne Gretzky, I go where to the puck is going to be, not to where it was. For additional resources and how to protect your wealth, see the links in the video description from some of the best gold IRA and precious metals investment companies that we have personally researched and vetted. To attend an educational webinar on gold investing held by Augusta Precious Metals, see the link in the video description. Thank you for watching.